The largest dam removal project in United States history is underway along the California-Oregon border a process that won't conclude until the end of next year with the help of heavy machinery and explosives. But in some ways, removing the dams is the easy part. The hard part will come over the next decade as workers, partnering with Native American tribes, plant and monitor nearly 17 billion seeds as they try to restore the Klamath River and the surrounding land to what it looked like before the dams started to go up more than a century ago. When demolition is completed by the end of next year, more than 400 miles of river will have opened for threatened species of fish and other wildlife. By comparison, the 65 dams removed in the U.S. last year combined to reconnect 430 miles of river. Along the Klamath, the dam removals won't be a major hit to the power supply. They produced less than 2% of power company Pacific Orps energy generation when they were running at full capacity enough to power about 70,000 homes. Though the hydroelectric power produced by dams is considered a clean, renewable source of energy. Many larger dams in the U.S. West have become a target for environmental groups and tribes because of the harm they cause to fish and river ecosystems. The project will empty three reservoirs over about 3.5 square miles near the California-Oregon border. Exposing soil to sunlight in some places for the first time in more than a century.